Hey, what's up guys, Matt. I just wanted to go over something real quick with you guys that I'm gonna ask you to help preserve our new equipment. We just took a delivery of 21 new barbells um, and this year was really rough on the barbells themselves just because of a lot of the chemicals we had to spray on them and whatnot um, dripping down into the collars. So we bought shotgun racks. So you'll see those mounted on the walls next time you come into the gym with brand new barbells in there. Um, that being said, we did buy some barbells in the fall too and I just wanna go over something real quick with you. So as you can see, this barbell here was per is one of the ones we purchased in the fall. Um, it's a newer barbell. And there, somebody left it with an incredible amount of chalk on there. Um, we shouldn't be chalking the bars like this, guys. Um, it, it causes them to break down and it eventually drips down into the collars and it causes them not to be able to spin any longer. So um, luckily, we have a fix for you for that. I think Steve talked about it earlier, but I'm just re-emphasizing his, um, his post. So down near the, uh, some of the barbell racks, we're gonna have um, some of these brushes that you see, they're nylon bristles. Um, down near some of the other racks, they're gonna be placed around the gym right now. They're located on this change plate rack. Um, so if you end up chalking the bar, that's fine if you do that. Just I ask that you clean them up afterwards, get all the grow, uh, gross stuff out of there and um, you know clean them up. And I'm gonna show you real quick what that looks like. I know Steve already did this, but uh, I'll show you with these new brushes what that looks like. So back to this barbell here that is caked with chalk. I'm gonna take this guy, it bends, those nylon bristles get right in there, and I just give it a nice little once around. Now this one's pretty caked in there, so it'll take me a little bit, so I'll just show you the end product after I do this a little bit. All right, as you can see, I spent a little bit of time cleaning it up, and I didn't go crazy. I spent about like two, three minutes doing that, but it's not like pearl white anymore. Um, we'll have to follow up with a little bit of uh, oil, but um, if we do this every time, it doesn't get caked up in there. We don't have to oil them as much, and um, the barbell will last a long time, and uh, we won't have to buy any more for a long time. All right, guys, I appreciate you, and uh, there it is again. Use those. Thank you. Uh